we have the great complexity and diversity of life, and Charles Darwin's theory of evolution explains how these life forms change over time, but it says nothing on how the first cell life formed out of non-living matter. This theory explains how a geometrical process based on physics could have formed the dynamic geometry and driving force for the first cell life. This is an image from the International Space Station of a candle flame in zero gravity. We can see that it naturally forms a sphere with the spherical surface interacting with the environment. This is very similar to a living cell. We have the buildup and organization of charge relative to the membrane of each living cell within us. All we would need is spherical geometry to arise naturally in the universe and it could form a template for cell life. The interior of the sphere would naturally form the characteristics of three-dimensional space with the two-dimensional surface forming a boundary condition for positive and negative charge. We have this geometrical process of energy exchange with the movement of charge whenever our everyday life changes. A process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking could form a repetition for greater complexity to emerge. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms a movement of positive and negative charge, making chemical systems automatically self-assemble into stable spheres. Light photon energy is continuously transforming potential energy into the kinetic energy of matter in the form of electrons. Just a change in environmental temperature could trigger this process, forming the potential for statistical entropy with the probability that greater complexity and diversity could emerge.